Hey, this is Mr. Mason Ed, and what we're going to do in this tutorial is we're going to practice solving word problems that involve the Pythagorean theorem. So let's read the problem and determine what strategy we're going to use to solve. The problem reads that Malik goes hiking around the lake. He wants to walk to the other side. To get from point A to point B, Malik has to walk six miles directly south and eight miles directly east. If Malik could go directly across the lake from point A to point B, how many miles shorter would the distance be? All right, the first thing that I would recommend to do in a situation like this is to draw a picture. So let's go ahead and put a lake on our graph paper. And then what we're gonna do is create point A, which is gonna be right here. And from point A, he goes directly south six miles. So we're gonna count off one, two, three, four, five, six units. And from this point, Malik goes directly east, eight miles. So we are gonna count off one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight units. And this is point B. So to get from point A to point B, first Malik is going to have to travel south this distance, which is six miles, and then travel east eight miles. So if he took that route, that would be a total of 14 miles. So we know from point A to point B, the long way would be a total of 14 miles. Now, whenever you take a look at two points, the shortest distance between any two points is going to be a direct line. So to get from A to B, we could create a line here, which essentially would be the hypotenuse of a right triangle. So let's go ahead and draw a line from this point to this point. And what we need to do is figure out what the distance is from here to here and see how much shorter that would be if he could go across the lake than going 14 miles. So what we're gonna do is state our formula, the Pythagorean theorem, a squared plus b squared equals c squared. And we're gonna plug six and eight into our equation. And if we square six, that is 36. And if we square eight, that is 64. And that is equal to c squared. And the sum of these two values is 100. And the only thing we could square to make 100 would be, of course, 10. Um, to show our work, though, we put a radical on both sides, a square root and a square, or an exponent of 2, cancel each other out, leaving us with c. And that is exactly equal to 10. So if Malik were to be able to go directly from point A to point B, that would be a distance of 10 miles. And 10 is four miles shorter than taking this route going south and then east. All you had to do is take 14 miles and subtract 10 miles from that, and that would give us four miles shorter. All right, let's go ahead and do another example. All right, so this problem reads that a wheelchair ramp is constructed to rise three feet off the ground and extends 20 feet along the ground. How long will the wheelchair ramp be? And we have to round our answer to the nearest tenth of a foot. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw a representation of this ramp. So we know the ramp goes 20 feet along the ground. So we're gonna go ahead and count off 20 units. So I'm gonna start right here and count off one, two, three, four, five, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, and twenty. And it says that the ramp, by the time we get to the end here, is going to be three feet off the ground. And what we have to do is figure out how long the ramp is going to be, which is going to be the hypotenuse of this right triangle. So once again, this leg right here is a distance of 20 feet. And we know it's gonna be elevated three feet above the ground. And we have to determine the length of our hypotenuse here, which is the length of the wheelchair ramp. All right, so let's go ahead and take our two legs and square them. So we have three squared plus 20 squared. And we know that squaring those two legs and then adding those numbers together is gonna be equal to the hypotenuse squared. So now we have nine plus 400. 
is equal to c squared. And then we're going to take 9 plus 400, which is 409, and set that equal to c squared. And then we have to take the square root of 409 to figure out what that is going to be. Now, we know the square root of 400 is 20, and this is a little bit bigger than 400. So our ramp length is going to be a little bit bigger than 20. And we have to punch this into a calculator and round to the nearest tenth of a foot. So let's go ahead and just type that into our calculator right here. So we're going to type in 409, and then we're going to hit the square root button, and we get 20 point, a bunch of numbers. We can see that there's no pattern here and that it's non-terminating, so this is an irrational value. So what we're going to do is we're going to round this value here to approximately 20.2. Because this is the tenths place, it has to stay at 2 because a number next to it in the hundreds place is not large enough to round this 2 up. This place value would have to be at least a 5 to round up to the next tenth. So we would say that our ramp is approximately equal to 20 and 2 tenths feet in length. Hey, I just want to say thanks for checking out this math tutorial. Please don't forget to hit that subscription button and enable notifications so you can be informed as I upload new math tutorials to my math channel. Till next time, this is Shane Masonette with Masonette Math.